Words of the day, save the earth, David Putnam. For years, I've attempted to record the emotions and experiences that form the basis for my overwhelming belief in an ordered universe. I recently stumbled across this entry in the diary of the great American explorer. Admiral Byrd, dated 14th April, 1934, he writes from a weather station deep in the Antarctic. Took my daily walk at 4 p.m. today in 89 degrees of frost. I paused to listen to the silence. The day was dying, the night being born, but with great peace. Here were imponderable processes and forces of the cosmos, harmonious and soundless. Harmony, that was it. That was what came out of the silence. A gentle rhythm, the strain of a perfect chord. The music of the spheres, perhaps. It was enough to catch that rhythm, momentarily to be myself a part of it. In that instant, I could feel no doubt of man's oneness with the universe. The conviction came that that rhythm was too orderly, too harmonious, too perfect to be a product of blind chance, that, therefore, there must be purpose in the whole and that man was part of the whole and not an accidental offshoot. It was a feeling that transcended reason, that went to the heart of man's despair and found it groundless. The universe was a cosmo, not a chaos. Man was as rightfully a part of that cosmos, as were the day and night. Words of the day, save the earth.